holly jolly Christmas. I don't know all the words. Hey y'all, I'm Jacqueline Doggett, and this would normally be my favorites video, like my monthly favorites video. It still is a favorites video of sorts, but with the holidays just around the corner, I figured that what I would do would be a holiday gift guide instead of November favorites. These are some of my favorite things, but instead of focusing on just what I had fun with in November, I'm going to show you some of the things I've enjoyed all year and would suggest as holiday gifts. So, holiday gift guide. I'm gonna start with some of the more expensive things in my favorites and work my way to stocking stuffers. So, if I'm right out the gate sounding a little bit much, bear with me. I will work my way to stocking stuffers. Or if you have some big ticket items that you're looking for inspiration, I got you. I got you covered. There's a range. Right out the gate, I'm starting with a camera. It's the camera that I'm recording on right now. I wanted a camera that could shoot 4K and just higher quality videos in general. I was going on a trip that I really wanted to document in a high quality way. And I just hadn't invested in a camera since, ooh, college. I've kind of gotten by with my iPhone. I got the Sony A6400. It's a mirrorless camera. It shoots 4K. It has a flip screen that comes up so I can see myself, which is great when I'm shooting forward facing videos like this and I want to see my frame. It has an external microphone attachment so I am able to get even better quality sound by hooking in an extra mic. One thing I didn't love about it is that the mount on top of the camera for the microphone is directly on top. So when I flip up the screen so I'm able to look at my frame, it's completely blocked by the microphone if you don't get the adapter. But I did get an adapter that kind of moves the cold shoe over to the side of the camera so I'm able to utilize the external mic and able to see the screen for framing purposes at the same time. This camera is on the pricier side, not the priciest a camera could be, but it is in the thousand dollar range for the camera body and the kit lens. Um, I'm able to work with just the kit lens at this point, but I do like that I would be able to buy additional lenses if I need them in the future. But for now, that initial camera body and kit lens purchase was perfect for my purposes. So if you have someone in your life that needs to invest in higher quality camera equipment, they need to shoot 4K video, they need high quality pictures, the Sony A6400 is really great. There are so many modes and settings that I haven't even touched yet. Right now, I'm just figuring my way through the video and the still photos and there's still so much more I can do. I really like this camera. I really like the video and picture quality. It's a favorite. I would recommend it as a holiday gift. Lucky, lucky person that gets this gift. Enjoy. Next up in the $500 range is the iPad Air. So I have the iPad Air 2. I guess it is all covered up, but this is an iPad. <laughs> it was actually a gift to me and I use it all the time. I don't like to carry my computer with me everywhere, but I do like to have computer-like capabilities most of the time. It's able to do the basic word processing type of things like checking my email, opening PDF documents. Um, I look at scripts a lot on this. I do a lot of my submissions like on casting sites on this. Um, I'm able to read books. I don't do a lot of in-app reading. I like physical books better, but when I have a particularly large book to read, this is so much more convenient than carrying like a big bulky book. It's also really easy to show photos on here. I watch videos on here. You know what an iPad is. It's just great. I do like the iPad Air because I do like it being a little lighter when it comes to the weight. This is easy to throw into whatever bag I'm carrying and it's not adding too much bulk. And I still basically have a computer with me. So this is one of the gifts I'd recommend for the person in your life who likes technology or just being connected to the modern world. It's a favorite. Oh, and the iPad Air 3 <laughs> three can use a pencil now coming in next at the $300 price range 
is the Nintendo Switch. I actually got this as a gift for someone else and borrowed it to show it to you now. There are a couple of reasons why I like this so much as a holiday gift. Uh, one, it's a lot of fun. Obviously, this is a gift that can be expanded on. The person who receives it can continue to get games for it and it will be new and fresh in that way. It's very portable. You can take it with you anywhere. It's easy to pack for travel and great as a single player situation. And it comes with a dock so you can easily plug it in to your television and do a multiplayer situation. That is also a lot of fun. Mario Kart, very customizable, lends itself wonderfully to the individual. You can even get it in different color schemes, etc., etc., etc. The gamer in your life will love this. This is a favorite. Now we're in the $100 price range and this is actually one of the things I like the most. It's the Canon IV photo printer. Look at this little guy, how cute. The Canon IV printer comes in three different colors. This mint green, rose gold, and white or gray. It's super small, super portable, super easy to use. Using the Canon IV app, you can print photos wirelessly from your phone, which is great. I take thousands of pictures on my phone, but I was not printing any of them out, mostly because I don't feel like going to pick them up. I don't feel like hoping they turn out a certain way when I order them online and they arrive at my house. Uh, I have been disappointed before. And one of the fun things about it is it's not just printing these tiny pictures. This size but these pictures are actually stickers as well. So you could just leave the picture like this. It's a business card size picture, so about two by three. And just put them in your wallet, put them in your photo album, however you would normally use a picture. Or you can peel off the back and it is a photo sticker, which is awesome. You can put the photos in notebooks, in journals, in planners, <laughs> on gift wrap, on a phone case, you could do anything with these photo stickers. Or again, you can just leave them as a little tiny photo that you use the same way you would use any other photo. I love that they're stickers though, because as you know, I love to journal, I love to use my planner, and these have been awesome. I want to show you an example. See, like I took this picture and just stuck it in the book. This is kind of a two-parter though, because I also like this. This is the Canbach carrying case. It was on Amazon as a suggested purchase with this, and it's perfect. I have the color to match my mint green Canon Ivy. I'm not worried about it getting damaged because this is a kind of hard shell case, so it's easy to travel with. And there's even room for me to stick the little charging cord and my extra packs of paper. Oh, that's another thing about it. This printer doesn't use ink. It uses a heat technology, and so you don't need to continuously buy ink cartridges or anything for it. You just have to charge it up, use a special photo paper, and you can continue to use this printer without ink. I have enjoyed this thing so much. The Canon IV photo printer is definitely a favorite and would make an awesome holiday gift. Now this is something I've brought up in my favorites videos before, but I'm going to bring it up again because I think it would make an excellent gift. And I have given it as a gift many times because I believe in this product as a gift. It is the Fashion Planner. The 2020 planners are out. I don't have mine to show you right now because it's in the mail on its way to me as we speak. The 2020 Passion Planners come in four different colors. This black color, a forest green, a golden yellow color, and a pale pink rose blushish color. So it's easy to find one that kind of fits the personality of the person you're going for. It's a fantastic gift for people who already love to plan. It's a great gift for people who are looking for a way to be a little more focused in following their goals and their passions. Mm -hmm. And it's a fun way for people who aren't typically into planning and goal setting to get into it because it makes it easy with the prompts. It's easy to follow along with the weekly and monthly prompts. It leaves a lot of space for you to be able to customize and, and use your own personality in these pages. 
Uh, the monthly reflections are really helpful and useful because there are prompts for all of it and you can get as in-depth or as bullet pointed as you want to get in these pages. And then there are prompts and really easy things to follow along with in terms of your passion roadmap, which is a mind map of what your goals are. There are prompts and step-by-step -step instructions for everything. So you are able to follow along or just kind of freestyle do things the way you wanna do them. This is in the 30-ish dollar price range, so it is a good present for most budgets. And 2020 is right around the corner from the holidays, so it is a lovely gift that someone can get started with pretty much right away, as soon as they receive it. So I would definitely recommend the Passion Planner as a gift for anybody, no matter what their interest in planning. It's just a good way to keep track of what's going on in your life. And it even comes in different sizes. So you can choose the size of the planner for the person in your life. This one is the medium. So you can actually get it larger or smaller than this version. I think it would make a great gift and it is definitely one of my favorites. <laughs> Lastly, but not leastly, Hello Grammar is something in the 10 dollar stocking stuffer range, but I really am enjoying this book. It's called Art Doodle Love, and it's by Dawn Sokol. I'm so sorry, Dawn, if I butchered your name. You've written a lovely book. This is a journal of self-discovery. So Art Doodle Love is a prompted art journal book. I just started, so I still have plenty of blank pages. For instance, five things that make me smile. The idea of this book is to release some of your creative restraints and it has prompts to help you just kind of let go of some of the anxiety that can come with creating at least for me sometimes i get into this rut where i'm really concerned about things being perfect and i start getting an anxiety about whether or not they are and it takes the fun out of creating for me this has been a great tool to help me let go of some of that anxiety and it's a lot of fun to do it's just anxiety free expression and that is a lovely gift to give anybody art doodle love i would definitely recommend this as a gift it was a gift to me and i am thoroughly enjoying it i would give this as a gift to other people art doodle love holiday gift recommendation i recommend it who gave you that you <laughs> that's all i have for now I've gone from the $1,000 range to the 10 ish dollar range with plenty in between. I hope that was helpful as you get started with your holiday shopping or continue with your holiday shopping wherever you are. There's no judgment here. Most of all, just enjoy this season with the people you love. If you're able to get a gift for them, awesome. If not, spend time with them, FaceTime them, have a meal with somebody, have a game night. Please comment below with some of your favorite holiday memories and make more with the people you love this year in 2019. Happy holidays.